One day, I'm going to learn how to record without making a mess and doing stuff wrong. Okay, I hit the button. So this is me showing you the salad. I'm going to take and uh, put some more black pepper. And then I always take and put salt over this to drain out all the water. I know that looks like a lot, but it's really not. My hands are clean. And then I just take and mix that all in there to let it all get mixed up. Oops. And then I cover it and let it sit, and then I drain all that juice off of it again. Okay, like I said, I hit the button, so I apologize. So this has to be in two parts. Oh, some days I'm like, my videotaping lately has just been, it's just been crazy. I'm going to take, I'm not going to put a whole lot of rice in this. I'm going to take a half a cup of rice and I'm going to put in the pot. So that's a half a cup right there, along with the cabbage. I did flip the chicken over. I started cooking it out on the breast part upside down. Um, started out that way, but I just turned it over. So I'm going to take this cabbage, take the rice, pour it in on the pot, on the pot, and on the meat. And uh, we're going to let this just simmer down real low, guys. So this is what it's looking like right now. That's what it's looking like right now. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to put that rice in right now. Because if I do that, that's going to absorb all of that juice in there. So I'm going to put that in towards the very, very, very ends. But I'm going to put the cabbage in right now. I'm going to start putting that in, dropping it all over the place. Cover that chicken. I love Baker's or Kroger's rotisserie chickens. I do. If you wait late at night, you can get them for almost dirt cheap. If they have any left, they want to get rid of them. Usually they'll start out like $8. By the end of the night, you probably could get it for 3 Okay, so I've got that in there. Let me get the cabbage I spilled over here on the side. Yeah, I got all that. I'm going to let this cook down and then I'm going to season it. Oh, I could do that right now. Let me do that right now. Some more of this. I'm telling you, this pepper is so good. And I've never really been a big fan of pepper. But this gives it a real good seasoning. You know, guys, today was really beautiful. Woke up this morning. Oh, it, you could tell it was. You could tell it was fall. Things are things are a changing. They are a changing. I need to put just a tad bit of oil over in here. Always when I cook cabbage, I like to put oil on it. Okay, this is Golden Chef canola oil got this at the Dollar Tree I'm not real big into um, Wesson and all that I'll get it if it's on sale but this works just as well for me and I like just to put just a little bit for my cabbage so we're gonna cover this up let that cook down and then the rice is gonna be the very last thing I put in there because I don't want all that juice in there to be absorbed by the rice and that's what the cabbage is looking like right now. It's cooking down. I love the color of cabbage. I love the color of cabbage. I'm going to show you some of the items that I used for this. And like I said, they came from the Dollar Tree, guys. Even the rice here, that was a Dollar Tree brand. I don't have the bag anymore. I already reviewed it a while back. Um, these are the Bell Pit Firm Plump and Juicy Ripe Olives medium I love these Dollar Tree and it is a six ounce can this was the chef's cup board broth chicken it is 32 ounces I used a whole entire thing for the chicken I got these Bella mushrooms uh, they're the white kind from Kroger's Baker's um, they were on sale I actually got them for was it 69 or 89 cents I got so these are the ones that are left over I'll use them for something else this was the savory uh, food fresh market 
delicatessen, fresh roasted chicken. Um, it was roasted, so I just took that chicken, put it in that pot. I used my green onions, which I got from Kroger's, Baker's. That was my meal right there. And the tomatoes, they were given to me um, from a, a co-worker at work, which I've been just enjoying these so much. I want to show you something while I've got this going. I purchased these chips. I got them at the bread house. I went on Sunday and got some bread. And I had never seen these before. It's by Barrow, and it says it's new. And Artic artisan style kettle cooked and then whatever that word is do I blay or whatever and it says red hot chili peppers potato chips artificial flavor if you see these don't buy them just don't buy them uh, it's 1.9 ounce bag the seasoning that they have on these things is so it's too much and they're supposed to be hot they're not hot they're sour it's a sour taste so didn't like them. Like I said, I bought them at the bread house where I go um, up on <laughs> North 72nd Street. I didn't like them. I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't like them. Oh. And then I saw this is all these today. I decided to try it. It was a dollar, <coughs> excuse me, 49. And it's Smith's, no, Sims, I'm sorry, Sims Jerk Snack Bacon and Cornbread Crisp. Uh, it's not too bad. It has 240 calories for those of you counting and 13 uh, grams of protein. It's a two ounce bag and the chips are on this side and then the, the cornbread's on this side. Little bitty small pieces but you know what? $1.49. I think they're trying to get rid of them. They're clearing them out. So that was that. But just kind of want to show you that why the meal is cooking and I'll show you the end results in a few. And like I said, I'm sorry. I hit the button on the first part of this. That is why I had to make it into two parts. But oh well, it happens. Excuse me. I got these the other day at the store. It's that uh, Norrell or Norrell, obviously at home stock, chicken. These are those little packs where you can make like uh, a broth. These they had on sale for 99 cents. They were usually three dollars, what is that, and 79 cents. But they had them on sale and you get four in a pack. So I grabbed these and I just realized that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take one of these little packs. That's what it looks like, and I'm gonna drop that off into the broth. I decided not to put the rice in here because I want to keep my broth. I'm going to put it in a separate pot. I got the water boiling over there, guys. So, and then what I'm going to put in with my rice mm -hmm. is this um, Casa uh, Original Diced Tomatoes with Green Chilies. I got this at Aldi's. I've washed my top off. And I'm going to put that over in the rice, too. So, I thought I'd share those extra additions I was throwing in there. Okay. Here is the chicken. It's cooked down. I got the cabbage in there. Like I said, I decided not to put the rice in because I had a feeling if I put that in and I know it was going to absorb all of the liquids. Didn't want that. So that's my chicken. Rotisserie already bought. Just took and put it in the pot. Put my onions, my mushroom, my green onions, cabbage. Seasoned it all up. And then this is my rice with the tomato with the spice. I'll show you what I put in there. This is what I put in there. So that's going to kind of take some of that juice out of there and let it cook down some more. But I love it when I do it like that. And then this is my salad. Guys, if you know me and watch my channel long enough, I love black olives, tomatoes, cucumber, green onion. And to tell you the truth, I really don't put anything on this. I just basically eat it by itself. On occasion, I might put a little Italian or ranch on it, but that's very seldom. So that is going to be my meal today. 
Juliana should be home pretty soon. And when she comes in, she won't be hungry because I'll have a meal done. So, with that, this is Monday. Going into the evening, I'm going to settle down. Try to enjoy the rest of my evening. And I pray everyone's day has been great. Again, I apologize that I had to break this into two parts. All because my thumbs got in the way and hit the button. And so it cut off my first. Don't know how to edit yet really good. But this is our, my, our meal. I hope your day has been good. I hope it's been a blessed one. Continue to pray for one another. Can, if you don't see somebody on for a while, you know, just hit their channel up and let them know that you're thinking about them. But let us, you know, consider that we are a blessed community here on YouTube by becoming friends. And I'm loving it, having a lot of friends in different states. So I'm praying for you all. My dog is upstairs. She goes upstairs because she wants me to come upstairs. And I'm not ready to go up yet. She is something else. So with that, this is Good Money Stewart saying bye-bye and have a great blessed evening. Bye-bye.